When files and folders are deleted, they are moved into the recycle bin, a temporary storage area for items that you want to remove. This feature allows you to recover items that were deleted in error. However, you should try to empty the recycle bin frequently, keeping unnecessary files on the hard disk wastes valuable space. You decide to empty the recycle bin, since it contains deleted items you no longer need. We can access the recycle bin from the desktop. Did you notice that the recycle bin has wads of paper in it? That's how we can tell there are deleted items in it. Let's view the recycle bin's contents, which we can do simply by double-clicking the recycle bin icon. The recycle bin window shows us all the items we've deleted, their original location, and the date we deleted them. From this window, we could restore the files and folder, but we want to delete all of them. Let's begin by opening a menu. Now let's choose the command that permanently deletes all of the items in the recycle bin. When we told Windows to empty the recycle bin, the Confirm Multiple File Delete message box opened. Windows is asking us if we really want to delete these items. We do, so let's confirm the deletion. Now there are no items in the recycle bin window, which means we have permanently deleted all of them. We're finished, so let's close the Recycle Bin window. The Recycle Bin icon now shows an empty Recycle Bin again. At this point, we can't recover any of the deleted files, which is why it's important to be aware of and use the many safeguards in place to help prevent you from making mistakes.